Hey YouTube, uh, what's up? Um, this is a tutorial on how to get private servers to work on World of Warcraft Cataclysm. Um, well not private servers, a certain private server, but they're still developing it and making it better and getting the NPCs to work, but it's still pretty cool. So, um, here, let's check it out. Um, just go to my website, freeforthepc.com. I will have a link in the description. So once you're there, um, uh, either use the navigation bar or scroll down to the bottom to W to, uh, get to World of Warcraft. I'll just use the navigation bar. Um, there will be two links underneath it. Click here to download and click here to download Cataclysm Crack. First, click here to download. And, uh, it'll give you a install wow.exe. I'm just going to save that to my desktop. And then, uh, go ahead and, uh, and, uh, run it. And it'll give you three options. Um, install World of Warcraft Wrath of Lich King. And then hit OK. Um, that'll install. And then uh, once it's done installing, it'll probably run it. If it does not, uh, run it from your desktop, from the shortcut icon. And uh, go ahead and install all the patches and up let it update. It'll probably take about three hours altogether, maybe more. Um, and that will install uh, World of Warcraft Cataclysm. And, uh, sorry about that. Um, and... Once you've done that, uh, go to my website again and click here to download Cataclysm Crack. It's a RAR file. Um, you might have to disable your uh, your um, stupid uh, antivirus because for some reason mine realizes it as a virus because it edits some of the World of Warcraft files. So just drag the folder inside the RAR file to your desktop. Uh, yeah, I already had it there, sorry. Um, and go ahead and run wowcataclysm.exe. It'll take you to this website, which is where you sign up for the thing. Um, you can sign up and uh, just go ahead and sign up. Uh, make your account and then hit create game account. Um, and it'll ask you if you're finished signing up and hit yes. And then uh, go to your wow install folder. And for Windows 7, it's normally going to be computer. C drive, users, public, games, and then World of Warcraft. Just click on the World of Warcraft folder itself right here. Hit OK. Hit install. Give it a second. It will make a World of Warcraft icon in your thing, or it will, uh, or it will um, override it, the original one. You can go ahead and close that and delete your uh, that folder, and uh. Basically, what that did was um, um, change your realm list, add the new launcher, and add the shortcut to the launcher, and uh, register your profile. So go ahead and open it. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this. I'm pretty sure you will. And uh, I already have an account made, so uh, you can just sign in and. Uh, Hit log in and click on uh, Developer Realm or Hello Realm. Uh, Developer Realm usually works, always works. I mean, uh, but it's, uh, they're still working on it. And uh, Hello Realm is just like the default re uh, realm. That's just like a fun server kind of. On uh, you can basically do uh, everything you normally could, except uh, it's just like more XP. More, it's modded, and uh, they're gonna be making more realms, so it's gonna be pretty cool in the future. So yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day.